Maya here and today I am doing a video that was requested by someone and it is a reading hate comments video. I haven't done this in a long time and I know what you guys are thinking, why are you going to read hate comments? Like that's horrible, you don't want to bring all this stuff up but honestly I try to make a joke out of it. It can be pretty funny to picture people actually clicking onto my content just so that they can say mean things. It's really quite a hard thing to even comprehend and uh, especially as a trans creator it's so unproportional or disproportionate how much hate we get just for being ourselves like I could post a video and it's not even anything to do with me being trans and people will leave hate comments about that down below so it's pretty ridiculous so this kind of shines a light on that and just like the average comments I'll get you know so <laughs> let's have some fun and some laughs and read some hate comments and if you guys think I'm dressed a little bit over the top, I completely understand. I'm going to a little event thing later, so I decided to dress up really nicely for that. <laughs> I'm not just doing this for this video. <laughs> she breathes a whole lot in this video, after every sentence, and it's kind of annoying, TBH. I guess I'll stop breathing then. Another man corrupted by toxic feminism and pornography addictions. What a waste. I'm not really sure what that means, so. Well, as long as you can't produce a baby, you're a male. Not trying to bring you down, just telling you a fact. Spirit of woman is inside of you. Better get deliverance from that before it's too late. That spirit might have entered in your childhood when you wore girl's clothes. God didn't make no mistake to create you. He created you a male and he is not a stupid God. Thank you for reading. <laughs> My dear son, don't you realize that God loves you and we are all here on this earth and that that is so God can restore his holy image back into his children? Please read your Bible. I don't see how people cannot tell he is a guy dressed up like a woman. They all are obvious. Well, why didn't you tell him you were a degenerate mental case in the first place? You are a dude, not a woman. Get used to it. You'll never have babies or a period. Just be who you really are, a gay dude. I don't need educated on a mental health case. Both dudes are f***ed in the head. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I won't bother educating you. Your mustache should have told him that you are transgender. I mean, I haven't really had a mustache since laser hair removal, but with the shoe fits. Fake nails, fake sex, fake personality, fake boobs. What the f is wrong with you, boy? You need exorcism. <laughs> oh, poor me. I'm being discriminated against because they won't accept me for who or what I think I am. Maya or whatever your actual birth name is, you may wish to falsely regard yourself as a woman, but don't expect others to believe this unquestioningly and to take it seriously in the workplace or anywhere else. You need to adapt to society's expectations of normality. They shouldn't be expected to adapt to your desired version of it. The LGBT movement is attempting to make this case. They want the majority to conform with the leftist views of the minority by legal compulsion if necessary. Not me. I will fight this politically correct tyranny. Okay, dot dot dot. So I knew he was a guy as soon as he, he opened his mouth. LOL. Change yourself back to being a male. You're born a man, you die a man. No matter how many ornaments you add to your body or how many implants you add, you can fool yourself and others, but you cannot fool science. I'm not a troll. Transsexuals are very sick people who need to be treated with heavy medication. Don't parade the sickness like it's okay. It's not. It's unnatural and quite frankly disgusting. It's like a person with schizophrenia. I don't hate the person, however. I hate his schizophrenia. Schizophrenia should not be paraded around and be seen as normal because it isn't. It needs to be treated. Transphobia is a natural reaction and no one should be ashamed of it. I had another horrible day because of creatures like you. Once again, I got mistreated by everyone I came across. I'm a very kind person, but every f time I go out in public, I get dirty looks and people call me all types of names and make fun of me because they think I'm a trans like you. Biologically, I'm a female. I identify as female and I'm straight, but my face somewhat resembles a guy. Even when I wear makeup, they think I'm a trans. 
My life was never like this. I hate having to go out to go to work or run errands because no matter where I go, people always make fun of me because they think I'm trans. I hate all of you for ruining my life and having these stupid ass gender laws passed. There are only two genders, male and female. You are not a female if you think you're a female, nor are you a male if you think you are a male. Get help. You're a man. <laughs> I can't even like, feel like that one's real to be honest because it just sounds so ridiculous. It's like as if being transgender hit the mainstream and any of the natural born women uh, from before who looked masculine all of a sudden get called trans and now they hate all trans people. Like what? That makes no sense. Boy, let's get something straight here. You're still a male. You just can't decide one day and say, oh, I want to be a female. It does not work like that. You're still a male. Just because you have tits and long hair and wear makeup doesn't make you a female. If you're born male, you're a male. If you're born female, you're a female. Get it right and just be a dude, my guy. He must have been pretty retarded, LMAO. You clearly sound like a man. Her voice is a man's voice. You're a man. Can it have babies and periods and go through menopause? No. Then it's a dude. You are cute now, but eventually you'll be an ugly old troll. Ugly f Ugly. You are a dude. Stop wearing makeup. Dude, for real, no one gives a f You are an ugly cross-dresser. Stop the hand-waving. Far too camp. Real women don't act like that. Not disclosing you're a cross-dressing f it is a rape attempt in my book. Only if I catch you from behind. Anyways, that's all the hate comments I'm going to read for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you can laugh at the comments like I do. They're absolutely bizarre and crazy. And I don't know where people find the time to contribute that kind of behavior, but I wish I had their free time. Let me know what kind of videos you guys wanna see. Uh, comment them down below. I'd love to make more content for you guys. I wanna start posting more often and it's going to be fun. It's fall, I have my room tour coming up soon. It's coming soon, soon, soon. I know I've been talking about it forever, but it'll just be a quick little fun room tour and I talk about all the furniture I got and why I got it and why it's my favorite. And yeah, I was also thinking of doing a vegan burger challenge where I try like the a and burger, a Harvey's burger, that's a Canadian chain if you don't know and you're outside of Canada, um, and also trying the Impossible burger and just like trying all the different fast food burgers and then like rating them on which one I think is the best and doing some stuff like that. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know down below and let me know what you thought of this video. And yeah, have a fabulous rest of your day and stay camp, stay beautiful, fresh, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.